Chosen ones, where you were, where you were, where you were, where you were, chosen ones, back with another powerful and productive video. Why chosen ones fly in their dream? Fly away, fly away, I'm flying away, I'm flying like a spider man. Flying away, I'm flying like a spider man, I'm flying like an angel, flying away, I'm flying away because you are a chosen one. Because you are a chosen one, you will find yourself flying in your dream. Alright, great. You have to watch the entire video because it is not all flying in a dream that means that you are a chosen one. All right, great. But if you are a chosen one, you know, what differentiates you from others flying in their dream is that if you are a chosen one, whenever you are in a battle, okay, you are in a serious battle, all right, um, and God wants to deliver you from that battle, you will realize that you all of a sudden start to fly over the situation, over the circumstance from the scene all right um so it's a way of god saving you okay or when people are pursuing you when there is attack attackers are pursuing you the enemy is pursuing you following you chasing you all right you will see yourself all of a sudden flying like a spider-man all right flying over obstacle dodging obstacles and going and going and going it's a nice feeling though yeah if you have been experiencing this it means you are a chosen one but the difference is yours is not every day all right it is not every day it is only when you are in a battle or there is an attack on you all right so that is god deliverance on your life it means you are spiritually gifted all right it means you are you know born with a supernatural gift a supernatural power to rise above your circumstances to rise above your situation to triumph over your enemies to succeed and do great exploits in this life it means your enemies cannot harm you destroy you it means your enemies cannot take your life because god is with you your redeemer is mighty and strong and powerful and always comes to your aid when you are in a danger all right so when you find yourself you know under attack in your dream and all of a sudden it means there is the power of god in you right there is something great in you spiritually all right and um that's it so if you are such a person you are a chosen one and you need to put God first in whatever you do. You need to um, read your Bible, the scripture with devotion. All right. Meditate on the word of God day and night. Draw more closer to God. Listen to more faith building stuff that is going to help you to keep you in alignment with your God to help you become more spiritual. And I tell you, you will be more powerful. You will always keep rising above your enemies, your circumstances, your challenges. No matter what comes your way, you will fly higher because the sky is your limit. You will sow on the wings of eagles when on his name you called, right? That is the Lord's promise for you as a chosen one. All right, great. But there are other people that also fly in their dream. You know, people that use diabolic means, witches, wizards, witchcraft, people with witchcraft spirit. For them, they find themselves flying every night in their dream, right? That is the difference. For them, it is not necessary that, you know, they are under attack or something is pursuing them, but they find themselves always doing that, all right? flying in their dream, always, always dreaming, flying in their dream, you know, and stuff, right? Doing evil and diabolic stuff. So that is the difference between a chosen one, all right? Flying and someone who, you know, is not a chosen one who is also flying, all right? You see, the thing is, you shouldn't be surprised and shocked because what God can do, Satan equally 
can do that as well. Yeah, Satan also has that power to do similar things that God can do, but there are different. Yes, there are different. So even the devil knows. The true chosen ones, the devil knows them. When the devil sees them, the devil knows that this is a chosen one. The hand of God is upon this one. The devil knows I cannot touch this person. Because if you are a chosen one, there is a light on you. Yes, there is a crown on you. All right? It's a crown on you. It's not something external that people can see. But people with diabolic eyes, witchcrafts, wizards, you know, they can see it and they know who you are. They see you. All right? So, um, that's it, chosen ones. If you find yourself flying in your dream, it's not... Uh, an evil thing all right but you see I've given the difference okay great so if you find yourself doing it all the time you know you know um, you can seek for deliverance you can get uh, a living church a living church is a church that the foundation is the Holy Ghost that the power of God is made manifest in that church you go there you worship with them you join hands with them by faith you pray to God, God, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't like this witchcraft. I don't like this thing, Lord. Deliver me. Lord, set me free. And, you know, as you genuinely will to let go of such evil, evil deeds, the Lord will see you through. The Lord will use the man of God to deliver you, to set you free. All right? Great, and you will find your true self. All right, great. Um, so it is all up to you. Um, it takes your genuine willingness plus God's ability to make it happen. All right, if you are a witch or a witch, a wizard, or you have a witchcraft spirit and you want to be delivered, you know, there is nothing God cannot do. You know yourself. If you are a witch, you are a wizard, you, are, you have witchcraft spirit. You've been seeing yourself doing evil in the dream. You've been seeing yourself, you know, um, sucking innocent blood and stuff in your dream. And you know, all right, that mm, something is wrong with you. You know, you know for sure. If you are a wizard, you know. If you are a witch, you know. If you have witchcraft spirit, you know that definitely you are a witch. When a witch see a witch, they know. When a wizard see a wizard, they know. When Someone with a witchcraft spirit see another person with a, with, with, with a witchcraft spirit. They know themselves. Yes, they know themselves, right? Great. So, there is nothing God cannot do if you really want to change. You know, move closer to God. Draw nearer to God and God will draw near, uh, nearer to you, right? And he will prove himself so strong in your life. He loves everybody. He loves everybody. God loves sinners, but hates the sin. It is the act that God hates. That is why scripture says, when one soul, okay, that is perishing, is being saved, it brings more glory and honor in heaven than, you know, hundred righteous people. Yeah. Jesus said, I came for the sick people, not for the healthy one. All right? A sick person needs a doctor. A healthy person does not need a doctor. All right? And when an agent in the dark world is being saved, you know, countless people are going to be saved as well. And heaven, heaven rejoices. Yeah. Heaven rejoices. So that is it. All right. Great. So um, don't feel shy. Draw more closer to God. And I tell you, there is nothing God cannot do. God will certainly and definitely see you through. You will be set free. You will be delivered. And all glory and honor will be unto the Lord Most High. All right. Great. So that is what I have for you. All right, great. This is a very short video. Thank you, chosen ones. Thank you for watching. I believe this video has helped you in a way. 
Yeah. So if you see yourself flying in your dream, when being attacked, when being pursued in your dream, you know, it means you have supernatural powers, you know, that you have this kind of God's ability in you to do great exploits in this life. All right. Great. You are blessed. See you in my next video. I'm out for now.